Hello, I'm Miriam, and I'm going to share with you how I created my Andy Warhol inspired Campbell's soup can. Um, I like the pop art movement. I actually love uh, Van Gogh's Starry Night, but I didn't think I'd have quite the time or the expertise to quite get that down yet, so I went with something a little more simple. This is the original picture I found on Google. Um, this does have a blue background, and I actually changed that in the uh, the final version, so you'll see that. Um, over here are my layers. I actually started with the ellipses and filled them in, as you can see. Kind of filled those in. I used these uh, ellipses and the pen tool. And then, let's see, I don't think I anything on those layers. I did the fills next. Um, I made the, I used the pen tool and I moved the lines to make them actually fill in appropriately with the colors. This symbol here, I, I kind of went basic with it, so it's just a blue circle, but I kind of went with the background color there. I did the lines on here as well. As you can see, I used the pen tool and I held the shift uh, key down to keep a straight line. And then I used the pen tool to create these lines here. This is actually a textured line. I used texture and a paint tool to kind of make some little dots on there because the original is actually Florida Lees and that's a pretty complicated pattern to be done with real quick and that would take a little bit more time than I think I had so I did try to get it to actually just look get the idea of that and then I had the text so I actually went through the fonts and tried to find something as close as I could to the actual words that were on the soup can and then I use the uh, tracking and kerning and all that type of stuff that you can use to adjust letters. The thing I might fix on here is to make the S actually be attached to the Campbells here and maybe make a separate text box for the apostrophe and actually bring that all together. Because as you can see on the original can, it's actually all put together. So I didn't mind have found the exact fonts to use on this, but I got pretty as close as I could because I know the O's kind of off to the side a little bit and this has more um, detail on it and this is all connected here, but I kind of like how everything turned out. And I'm going to go and show everything. And then for the background, I just made a couple of squares, uh, just kind of pop colors like Andy Warhol used and put a thick black border on it to make it look nice and neat. And there we go. So thank you for watching.